my name is Rusty Mattingly and today we're going to talk about complex manual wheelchairs. A uh, complex manual wheelchair is defined as a wheelchair for full-time use that is for people that are dependent upon manual self-propulsion for the completion of daily activities. In this case, we're looking at a Catalyst 5, which is a folding variety. Some K5s are also rigid framed, which means they fold differently. All of the K5s will have a wheel locking system that when you push forward will indent the wheel and prevent it from rolling. It is not a brake for slowing the chair. It is only for use when people are getting in and out of the chair or want to prevent uh, themselves from rolling on unlevel surfaces. This is a folding chair, as I said earlier, by grabbing the center component, we can pull it up and the whole system will collapse down to be loaded or unloaded into vehicles. It has leg rest adjustability in the front, so the leg rest can be lowered or raised so that the individual sitting in it can actually have an appropriate seated posture. That is generally thought of as something very close to 90 degrees at the knees and 90 degrees at the hip. However, I understand that there are variances in human beings that don't allow for that positioning to be perfect all the time and know that functionality overcomes perfect positioning. The footrest can be flipped up and flipped down out of the way. The armrest also have adjustability. They can be raised and lowered and locked in at any position. They can also be removed by pulling the trigger and removing them. There are other varieties that also include a flip back type. Uh, some chairs come with, with a tilting mechanism. This is not one of those. Uh, if your chair comes with tilting and positioning, it would be very important to utilize that tilting mechanism for your pressure relief for 10 minutes every hour. That is to allow for uh, revascularization of the compressed tissue of the buttocks and decrease the risk of the development or further development of pressure ulcers at the seating surface interface. These wheels are solid inserts. Uh, they can also come in a pneumatic variety that would require airing. There's also a push rim activated power assist device that can be attached to this wheelchair. There are two varieties, one that is actually a center hub motor on each of the wheels and another that is an under device that attaches under the chair and will require the user to push forward to activate the uh, assist device and be able to break it by applying pressure to the hand rims to disengage the device. Thank you for your attention and thank you for the opportunity to allow Rehab Medical to improve your lives. Soon you will be meeting with your Rehab Medical technician. If you have any further questions or concerns, please address them with them. Thank you.